call to order to order the meeting of the county Carroll County Commissioners of Thursday, June 9th, 2022. It is 9.02. Please join me in the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Um, do we have any media questions? <clears throat> Seeing none. Um, I'm going to have to go into recess for 10 minutes, and it is 9.03. We are coming out of recess and going into our meeting, and it is 9.16. So we left off at media questions. There were none. So we're going to go right into public. Oh, we'll wait. Just one moment. Were you two together? At Dunkin' Donuts or something. <laughs> I was in Tampa yeah. at the school. Oh, so. yeah. I did get a call from, from Kim, but I didn't hear the phone ring, so <laughs> I saw the chief call. Right. Thank you. 915, We're just starting. Yeah. No. So we are on so public input. Did anything? Mm, no, public. we're on public input okay. right now. So Got it. Um, if the public would like to... Right. I have one thing. You may. Would right. you please um, tell us who you are and where you're from? My name is Gary Stevens. I'm from Lake Virginia. Sorry to interrupt. Can this gentleman sit here? Is that, he may. Is that okay? Because it's, it's just okay. easier for my camera to do. Oh, anything to make it easier for you, Ed? Oh, so you can see and talk to each other. Yeah. The hot seat. Good. He's closer. He can throw things at us, too. And he won't do that. I would not do that. <laughs> um, before you approve the meeting minutes of okay. May 26th, uh -huh. I have a comment Sure. because it's not correct. Okay. When I spoke on the 26th, uh -huh. if you look at the minutes that's in the draft, uh -huh. it says I, I, don't, I, don't, I already know, that um, I said 4% for the raise, that's incorrect. If you look at the tape, it shows that I said it was 5% for the raise for the police officers and 4% for their insurance, mm -hmm. not vice versa. Okay. Okay. I, I so okay. I want to make sure that gets corrected okay. for starters. I'll we'll make sure. Okay. So I do pay attention to Good. Good. what's Thank going you. on. Yeah, I haven't read them yet, to be honest. So. Okay. Um, I don't know if you right want right me to speak up. now on some stuff or you may. later on. No. You got the floor. Okay, thank you. I would like to touch on a couple of things right quick, if I may. Sure. Um, first, since 1970, the population in Carroll County has increased tremendously, as we all know. We all know that, yeah. In 1970, it went up 17.2%. 1980, it went up 56.6%. 1990, it went up 26.8%. 2023.3%. 2010, 9.5, and in 2020, it went up 4.8 percent, for a total of 131.9 percent in those years to, to date. Um, back in 2011. The new nursing home was open, correct? Yes. Yep. Thank you. So, are we heating the old nursing home now? Yes. yes. Yes, I know that. I'm pretty sure that we are because the laundry is being done over there. Correct. Okay, thank you. I know it has. I know there has been a lot of discussion and ideas about utilization of the old nursing home, yep. which I think is great. Um, and I'm all for it. I mean, you've talked about businesses, meaning restaurants or um, daycares, things of that nature. Not daycare. Not daycare, but not, not a business. No? no. It's educational mostly. Okay. So hospitality we, classes we that would provide the workforce for a business. Yeah. 
Yeah. But anything that we could utilize that building as we're already heating it is what I'm thinking. To better the community, yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, it's great and I'm all for it. Problem is we have no takers at this time to be able to, to move in there, as we know, you know, to utilize it. Well, we do. We just we can't, can't, can't do anything until we get permission from the delegation. We actually have more people that want to use it than we have space. Right? Oh, well, that's a good thing then. Yeah. Using yeah. the UNH cooperative and some education. Um, think about this for a moment, if you would. What if we move the dispatch center over there? And the reason why I say that is we have plenty of room for expansion now and down the road. As the sheriff stated on May 26, he's limited as to the expansion, even with the proposed new upgrade, meaning he said that he can only add one more dispatch um, spot for a supervisor. So if we were to take and utilize some of that space over there, couldn't we have six, seven spots down the road and be more efficient, possibly? It's possible. What, what we're hoping for and anticipating is that we'll move the administrative offices over to the nursing home, the annex, you know, all the business offices, leaving uh, the whole downstairs, except for registry, um, to the sheriff. Yeah, I was thinking, yeah, I understand. Yep. It's then, more cost effective to change the wiring and all of the emergency right. things to over there than to leave it here. So we're trying to free up space in this building where the wiring already is. Well, see, I would have thought, like you just said, that it would be more cost efficient to move the whole sheriff's department over there, more space, more room for expansion, and use this whole building as we currently use it as an admin building for our needs down the road because um, we've been exploding. I, I believe, Bob, if you would, we just spent quite a bit of money redoing, um, it was before my time, I believe, but didn't we have to have some work done to be able to run all the equipment and dispatch? The sheriff has spent a lot of money upgrading the dispatch center, the radios and, and all his equipment. Um, I think it would be a costly move to move the sheriff's department over to the other building. <coughs> yeah, we had no figures or we have, any, have we looked into that at all, Bob? By not, any not with numbers. Not with numbers. Not That's with, what we would need numbers. to do. No, just obviously. A, just a just a educated somewhat educated experience. I think that the, it would be a more costly move to move the sheriff's department over there. I think it would be more um, practical for the county to move the business office over there and and give them the expansion ability downstairs here in this building where, where their equipment is already here. That's right. But will we have enough room for expansion down the road in the next five, 10, 20 years? I don't, even? I, I, I don't know. Madam Chair, yes. can I make a suggestion? Okay. Before we debate this, it might be helpful to have it as an agenda item if we're gonna talk about it. Uh, let's listen to his ideas and, and then yeah, that's fine. consider whether to, to discuss it because I know we have a, a lot to talk about today. So, yeah, I'll just read this and yep, we'll, okay. I'll come back that'd, another time. And we can, that'd be great. Yeah. Okay. Um, because we're not prepared for some of these discussions. Well, that's good. We'd then love to my, hear that's the good. Input. Then I've done my job. Yeah. See? We'd love to hear the input. Like I said earlier, I'm in favor of the upgrade to the dispatch center because I think we need it, but we're limited as what we can do. Um, and the other thing. I like the fact that some of the work will be done in-house by the maintenance staff, like Bob had said. You know, so if we had a one-year, five-year, ten-year plan or goal, you know, could we move the sheriff's department in our unused building? Plenty of space for many things, too many to mention at this time. Now would we be able to use this building as an admin building, like I said, this building possibly? Um, one last thing. Sure. Grant money. There is tons and tons of grant money out there for this type of stuff. You just need to know where and how and apply for it. Huge monies available, which would be the way to go, especially if we have a one year, five year, ten year plan. You know, again, the county has grown over 131% since 1970 something to think about. Um, thank you again for your time. Thank you. Just a, a comment. We are 
reaching out for grants. Yeah. Uh, we're doing a lot of upgrading with some grants. Yeah. So um, there's tons of money out there. You just got to search for it. And, just, and there's a lot to it in order to obtain them, as we all know. Oh, yeah. Yeah. A but if you have ideas of programs, yeah. uh, we'd love to hear about it. The, you know, if you send it to Melissa, she'll get it to us, or you can contact us directly. But, gotcha. Yeah, we always want to get grant money if we can. Money is not the issue with the annex. Money is always an issue, girl. Not in this case. It's the one <laughs> time only. Grant money is better money. <laughs> All right. Um, I'll just, if it was totally up to us, we'd already be having we'd already construction people it. over there, but we, yeah, we cannot do it without the support of the delegation. Exactly. So I understand that. You need to speak to your to local your representatives. Yeah. <laughs> um, I got one other thing, but I could bring it up. What town are you in? Excuse me? What town do you live in? Wakefield. Wakefield. Okay. That's okay. Um, I just have one little question you could probably answer. I was going to leave it for another time, but nope. I'm on a roll, I think, so I might as well ask you. <laughs> I'm a line item versus a budget. How does it work and how does it show up? Meaning, if I'm in one department and I want to do something, I don't have the money in my budget, you do it as a line item, is that correct? You transfer it as a line item? Is that how? If, if you have it in another line, if with approval, you can transfer money into, in your own department, but not out of the department. But the money has to be in, in there, appropriated in there. Yes. for specific things. Right. Okay, that's what I was... Yeah. In a specific line. In a specific line. In a line. specific line. Yeah. And if, if you have an overage in one line and you don't have enough in another line, the department head can come to us and... Say, I can take this little bit out to meet with my needs. Within the department without expanding the department budget. And if you go over a certain amount... We have to go to the delegation before we could approve that, gotcha. or before that could happen. Gotcha. If you want to go between departments, you have to go to the delegation. But All right, that's, that's the law. I just find a... And we try to follow it and ask for explanations why something's over before we allow it. Again, thank you for your time. Oh, you're very welcome. Thank you for coming. For the record, can you state your name, sir? I'm Gary Stevens. Thank you. Tell us your name and if you have any questions. Another member of the public. I know, we haven't had anybody here for like a year. <laughs> for a year and a half, and now they're all coming the same day. We're making work. <laughs> Good morning. My name is Katie Petternell. Thank you for allowing me to come speak with you today. Um, it is my pleasure to announce my candidacy as um, state representative for Carroll County District 6, serving Tuftonboro and Wolfboro. I am a military wife. A mother, grandmother, caregiver, educator, farmer, coach, friend, neighbor. I am also a yoga instructor, and I have vol had volunteered to teach yoga to the female inmates at Carroll County Jail. That got cut short with COVID. Um, I also have a Bachelor of Science in Nursing. One thing I've never been is a politician, nor did I ever think that I would be running for public office. 27... <laughs> 27 years ago, my husband Bill and I moved to Wolfboro. We built our farm from the rocks up, and we homeschooled our four children there. They participated in sports at Kingswood Regional High School and grew up on the sports on the hills of Abenaki. Um, Bill is an e emergency room physician and a captain in the U.S. Navy Reserves. Over 27 years, we've come to love and cherish our friends, family, and community that we've built strongly here in Wolfboro and Carroll County and New Hampshire. In 2020, my empty nest coincided with the beginning of the pandemic, and one of the pieces that was missing in my life was giving back to our community and performing my civic duty. It was hard to find things to do, but I volunteered at, in the primary and general elections and then began serving, um, then was hired as a ballot clerk in 2021. I also currently serve on the Wolfboro Agricultural Commission. Um, in addition, during the time of the last two years, I began paying attention to legislation at the state level. I began registering my opinions online, which led to testifying on several bills. I then attended committee hearings, 
I've attended a full House session, and most recently I was invited for a bill signing by the governor. If I'm elected, I want to work to uphold the New Hampshire and U.S. Constitution, support strong families and education. Our families and our children are the foundation of our culture and our society, and we need to work to strengthen those. I also want to work to keep state taxes and spending in check, and with runaway inflation, we have to tighten the belt from the top down so that our taxpayers aren't spending money on taxes. Um, I did not seek to run for office. This ha has found me. But I feel it's time to stand up and work to serve the residents of Tufnaboro, Wolfboro, Carroll County, and the state of New Hampshire. I have been actively working on this campaign for three months. I have a really long road ahead and a tough, challenging primary. I accept the challenge, and I want to work to keep New Hampshire the live free or die state. My website is www.vote-katie.com if you want more information, and thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Congratulations, and thank you for wanting to serve. Do you have any questions for us about the county or anything? No, I just plan on attending as many meetings as I can to start absorbing the information so that I can be an effective delegate if I'm elected. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Do we have any other public input? Okay. Um, approval of the minutes. This is a public input session. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we actually had people. Um, I, do you want to skip the minutes because neither one of you yeah, have time to look them. at them yet? I, I looked at the um, electronic version, but yep. we need to make those changes as yep. requested. So. Should we make that change printed out? So we'll, when we do it later, you'll have it. Okay. Have you had a chance to look at them? We can approve them with the amended thing. So that was the I, I didn't see anything until he pointed it out. So I'm good. I'm looking quickly, and okay. I think we can. I didn't see anything. As I say, I hadn't read them yet. So it was a good day. We got a lot of good stuff done. <laughs> <laughs> We try not to waste our own time. It was a busy day, that's for sure. And today as well. I, I'm ready. Uh, yeah, these look good to me. So. Okay. Is that a motion? Motion to Let's make a motion, please. Make a motion that they look good to me. No. That we approve the minutes. With, well, with the changes. With the changes. Okay. What's the date? May 26th. Um, I'll second because Commissioner Platt just moved to approve the May 26th minutes. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Thank you. 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 Okay. Uh, okay. The manifest approval for accounts payable from May 25th. Well, we have that part. Uh, six hundred and twenty-two thousand six hundred and fifty-four dollars and one cent for June 1st. It was fifty-one thousand three hundred and fifteen dollars and seventy-six cents. Payroll for May 27th was two hundred and one thousand two hundred and twelve dollars and ninety-five cents, and for June 3rd, two hundred and seventy-nine thousand nine hundred and forty-six dollars and sixty-two cents. Okay, treasurer is not here. Um, I have nothing for Hale's location today. So I guess we're going to have um, Mr. Murray come back up with a bid recommendation for the jail flooring. Oh, it's a recommendation. Uh, yep. Madam Chair, did you want to do number three or you want to hold that for later? Um, let's do it after Bob. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, we opened uh, the commission was opened <coughs> a bid uh, to replace the uh, the hallway flooring at the jail. <coughs> These were funds that uh, were available from a uh, from a from an insurance rebate. Um, so I've had a chance to review the bid, and uh, we don't have enough money. So. What's new? <laughs> The, the, the bid came in uh, quite a bit higher than I had anticipated, and uh, welcome to 2022. Yep. Well, my recommendation is that uh, we cancel the RFP and uh, and put this on hold. Yeah. The, how, this, much, how much? How much? are we short? How oh, we're, we're short, short about thirty thousand. About oh, thirty oh, thirty two thousand so dollars. Yeah, more than half. How bad is the floor? More than half. So the uh, the flooring needs to be replaced, but it's it's not a safety issue right now. Uh, it, it can wait. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's it's not a crisis if it doesn't get done. Uh, put so it in the budget for next year. Well, yeah, the, this this money that uh, is available, um, we're gonna we're gonna target repairs at the jail. The first thought was to repair the flooring. So we'd like the option. I know that the, I know that uh, the commissioners had wanted this money spent by the end of the year. Um, so I was told. But I would like the option um, to extend it for another year. Um, if we have to spend it this year, we have something else that we'll do. Uh, the garage doors need some repair. Um, but short of that, we'd like to hold it over until next year and budget for the remainder. Knowing that we have a budget number now, um, we'd like to keep that money set aside and budget for the rest next year. It's a line item. Is it a line item in the current budget? Uh, no, no, because it's it's money that's been sitting there as a refund from years ago. Oh, no. it's, a, it's currently an encumbrance, so I think they'd have to approve encumbering in another year. Yeah, probably if that's allowable. We yeah. have to I decide today. Problem. I think we need to look at that and make sure. Yeah. yeah. Bonnie should probably. Yeah, I don't think you need. Yeah. To. Yeah, Bonnie should have uh, some input on this. Yeah. Yeah. Do it correctly. I don't want to lose the money. Right. Right. Yep. Because we should do the doors if we're going to lose the money. Yep. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. So, anyways, my recommendation is to um, uh, cancel the RFP and not award. I can go along with that. Okay. Yeah. If it's not necessary, let's mm -hmm. let's save the money yeah. or okay. wait until the recession hits and the prices drop on everything. Okay. Is that an official motion in there somewhere? I don't think we need a motion, do we, on this? To cancel. Oh, do we need a motion to cancel the RFP? I don't think so. No. I think the motion would be to award the bid, but you're not doing yeah. that. Yeah. Okay. Right? We have the option under the RFP not to award a bid. Correct. Not to award a contract. For any reason. Yeah. So. Okay. Let's exercise our option. So you have an RFP for us for um, yes. this building? Yes, the next item is um, I, I would like permission uh, to put out an RFP for the uh, replacement of the two rooftop units on this building. While technically this could be considered an extension of the Siemens project and not be put out to bid because it was already put out to bid for Siemens, um, I think this needs to go out. I think we need to put it out. Okay. Even if Siemens gets it, uh, I think it'd be a good idea to uh, to get pricing on this. Uh, there's one caveat, um, and I'm not sure how we move forward with it. Is um, availability of equipment um, is 30 to 40 months. Yeah. So if we if we put out this RFP this year, it's not going to happen this year. We could. Being our being ARPA funds, this would be funded by ARPA. It qualifies as uh, air quality improvements to public space. Um, the money is not an issue because the money we were allowed to spend the money for what five years. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but we need to get the ball rolling on this now and at least get the get is things it, in motion. Is it one of the things we already put in ARPA? Yes. Okay. Yep. Just sound hesitant. <laughs> yes. No. Cause we put it a lot of we put things in and took things yeah. out, yeah. and yeah. this is one of the things that stayed. Yeah. That's my recollection. Yeah. 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 So, anyways, I'd like to get the ball rolling. Uh, even if it doesn't happen this year, we need to we need to start moving. And we have to do an RFP. I agree. Yeah. yeah. So. Okay. And we yeah. could we could run into the same issue. We could have really under budgeted based on inflation and supply chain issues. Mm -hmm. So we should know that sooner rather than later. Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay. So, do I have permission to? You do. Okay. Can I have a vote, maybe? A motion to approve the RFP for the rooftop units. Is that Mr. Fudge, would you make the, <laughs> the, not motion, to put motion, the motion to RFP for this, this is the, the units on the roof? Administration yeah. building. Administration building. <laughs> Seconded. <laughs> All those in favor say aye. Aye. Okay. Do hey, you have anything else for us, Bob? I do not. Thank okay. you very much. You're very welcome. Thank you. Okay, and then we have to take a vote. Um, on the, we need an official vote in public to on the contract with Tom Clausen. 
Do you want me to make the motion, Madam Chair? Yep. I don't need, I don't have the details, but I think okay. it's a good, I think go. it's a I'll good give you this as the motion that we need. Madam Chair, I make a motion that we vote um, on the public contract with attorney Tom Clausen for the employment and labor matters effective June 1st, 2022 for a monthly rate of $3,000. The agreement, um, per the agreement, it can be terminated at any time with or without cause. And the board agreed to this um, if by vote. Seconded. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Madam Chair, can I make a comment okay. on this? So before we agreed to this sum of money to be paid um, on a monthly basis, we went back and looked at what we spent in legal fees on this particular subject last year, and this contract will come in about $20,000 less than what we paid for the legal fees the entire year. Yes. So we're saving money. We have an attorney on retainer. We know who we're calling. It makes it easier when we have an employment matter. And more importantly for employment matters, we want to make sure we're doing things properly with our employee and the sooner we have counsel involved, the better. So from a cost-effective standpoint, it seemed more cost-effective to have Attorney Clausen on retainer um, when we looked at what the county has historically spent in legal fees between negotiating unions and those kinds of things. So that's why we made the decision to go with a monthly retainer versus an on-call kind of system. Right. And he will be sitting in on all our union negotiations also, so that's going to be. Okay. Yes? Yeah, and we're negotiating two CBAs this year. So, collective bargaining agreement. Yes. Okay. Two union negotiations. We are, is Dominic available? Um, he is at a uh, police chief's meeting, so he oh, that started at, that starts at ten. So he's expecting okay. maybe eleven thirty to be back. So, I'm um, trying to see if there's anything else we can do before we go into non-public. Lisa Scott uh, has to leave at noon and asked if she could be squeezed in for her short non-public. Okay. Is that her. okay? Yep. Squeezed in. <laughs> squeeze her. We have a lot of non-public okay. today. Squeeze her in. <laughs> Subsection for which? For Lisa Scott has asked for a non public. The, the information is in Terry's packet, the three copies. Um, okay. Okay. I, think Lisa? I think C. I'm not sure. I'll go get her. You know, it has something to do with a bond. Yeah. So go ahead and do the um, holidays for 2023. Do you have these in your packet? What? Do you have that? You should. I should. I should. I should. Yep. I'm sure Good morning, good. Lisa. I'm not seeing that, Madam Chair. Did you miss it? Come on, there's some holidays. I don't have it. I'm sorry. No, I have it. I'm sorry. He has Wait, it. if Commissioner Clown mm -hmm. has it, then I probably have it. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Lisa. Public or non public? Non public. So we. Uh, yes, I make a motion, Madam Chair, that we go into non public under RSA 91A3 Roman numeral 2, subsection C. Seconded. All those in favor, roll call vote. Commissioner Tesari? Aye. Commissioner McCarthy? Aye. Commissioner Platt? Aye. 945. The recording has stopped.
Madam Chair, I make a motion that we come out in on public and seal the records, but I make an amendment that we change the subsection we went under under to L. Seconded. All those in favor? I did say seal, right? Yes. yes. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Okay. And I'll make a motion oh, yeah. for this. Yeah. So um, I make a motion we approve this agreement. It's a, an agreement to extend extension of time between Carroll County and Profile Technologies. And this is for the, the work being done in the registry to provide them more time. For to, restoring uh, the records. To restore the records, because we do want those records restored correctly. Right. And, and they're being very careful and doing a great job, so we're extending the time to do that. Could you authorize me to sign the document? Yes, and to, and to authorize the register to sign. Register. Seconded. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Okay. Thank you. You're very welcome. And we have a historical signing with us today. This will be a public document for anyone who wants to see it. So the floor is yours. Well, what basically we, we want to know what the procedure is for giving the courthouse back to the commissioner. Wow. We've never done this before. It's like county, because the commissioners don't, don't have any. Yeah. It goes back <laughs> to the county. Just, well, whatever. Whatever. Okay. I don't know. Here. Have you read this? I did. Yeah, I read the deed. And um, I'm not going to. We don't want to read this publicly because it's a long, tedious right. it just, deed. And you know how deeds are. Um, but there is a clause in here that provides a reversion interest to the county. Originally, the county uh, gave, the, gave the old courthouse to the Historical Society uh, to use as a headquarters and as a, 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 you know, a building for the functions of the society with a reversion interest that allows, that provides that the building goes back to the county if for some reason, the historical society ceases to use it for its, in, you know, for the purposes. Uh, and I, I guess that's what's happening: is you're no longer going to be using it as a historical society, you know. And, um, so. I don't know where you have the revision thing, but mine doesn't have a revision to to give it back. Uh, it's a subject, however, to a right of reversion and and to the grant. What page? Here. Um, the second, third, yeah. third page, actually. Third. It, it's the paragraph beginning subject, however. Right. Oh, I see. The right, right of reversion. Right. And the grantee. If A, the grantee fails or ceases to use mm -hmm. the within described premises for the purposes of operating or directly supporting the operation of a historical society for a continuous period of one year, except in the case of a natural disaster rendering the building unusable for such purposes. B, the grantee, if the grantee fails to keep the building open and or available for the public use for a continuous period of one year, or C, the grantee fails to keep adequate fire and extended coverage insurance. So, so you want a written notice? A written notice will be given to grantee to correct, no, that way would be to, that you're be the to grantee. <laughs> yeah. We have not given you that written notice, but. Well, you're not taking it. We're no. not taking it from no. you, but you're offering it to us. You're saying you don't want to use it as a historical society anymore. We're too small to do the upkeep you, and the maintenance. You can't continue, and, and it's a big building to upkeep. We have like 12 members now, 15 maybe. Mm -hmm. I mean, when we took it, we had 40 and all the other, um, Carroll County Historical Societies were going to help. Mm -hmm. They were going to use it, they were going to chip in, we were going to give shop. All they did was give us stuff to sell. They and didn't never not, used they never, it, never, yeah. never did anything. Help. So we we just we can't maintain it with our budget. Okay. So I think I I'm continuing reading the next page. I think. I think. Uh, the covenant that was subject further to the government covenant that while the grantee is lawfully in possession of the premises conveyed, 
Herein, the grantee shall preserve the building in its present condition with minor changes and operate the same for the following purposes. And a meeting place, headquarters, and, and, and museum for the Ossipee Historical Society, a meeting place for other historical societies in Carroll County, and a place for said societies to display their historical artifacts, and a resource center for Carroll County historical research. Subject further to the covenant that the grantor shall continue to supply water to said real estate and to any new building erected thereon at the customary reasonable rate until such time as municipal water precinct or other, as a municipal water precinct or other water system is organized that would be obliged to serve the said, the said real estate. Well, we do supply the water. Yeah. We kind of think it needs to be um, So that's kind of it. Um, it doesn't say anything about, I, I guess they just get a letter with the intention of it, turning it back and do another. Yeah. We're not. If we just do another deed back to the county, that's what a I'm quick thinking. claim deed back. Can you give us our dollar back? <laughs> <laughs> we need How is the building? <laughs> so we, hanging on the wall. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. We've already had it hanging up in the <laughs> We Now, we, we toured the building. We a different dollar. Yeah. Right? Yeah. We toured the building back in January, mm -hmm. and it, it does need some work. Yeah, it needs a lot of work. And yeah. The age of it, the whole building is the same age, and of course, this gives up, and then that gives up. Right, it's just ongoing. And, and you, can't. over the years that the historical society has had it, some work has been done, mm -hmm. but you don't have the the the, the, the funds to continue to. Yeah. yeah. So. It has to be a mighty big one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's, we have two other buildings that we have to take care of also, so it's the courthouse is draining us yep. from taking care of those buildings that would be doable with even a small membership. They're not as large, I take it. No, no, they're not. They're not. It's they a terrible really building. Uh, yes, it is. It's the basement. So. No <laughs> yeah, I was there. hoping a law school would take interest in it and you know take it over and use it for the courthouse. It, it'll have to be renovated, though. Somebody will have to take it over and renovate it. Should we um, just have them do that, the quick claim, or should we contact our attorney and just make sure that we oh, can we do should that? get our attorney in. Yeah. Okay. But if that's your wishes, we will. I guess. Excellent. So they will write to us or whatever. I'd like to be out of there by the end of the month. <laughs> oh, well, we'll get it done that quick, but we'll try. <laughs> Um, Government works slowly. <laughs> Bob has a question. Bob. Uh, yes. Well, so we're acquiring another building. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, Reacquiring. Re Reacquiring. Re okay. Well, there's a cost involved in maintaining this building. Yeah. And uh, um, we don't have a budget for maintaining a building yeah. through the rest of the year. Yeah. So um, that's problem that uh, we need to discuss. There, there's a big cost of maintaining it. It's going to have to be heated. It's going to have to be cared for. And it sounds like some, well, I just haven't walked through in January. It's pretty clear. Some renovations will have to be done quickly to preserve the building. Uh, it has deteriorated over the years. And, uh, so and it's understandable that the Historical Society just doesn't have the money to do it. Yeah. I would like the opportunity to go through the building. Yes. I think that's a good idea. <laughs> and uh, I would like uh, to also have uh, sit down and have a discussion with you and talk about operating budgets, mm -hmm. um, what you've done in the past. We just got a um, fuel tank. Uh, we just filled it, so it should be okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. For a while. Yes, but it give you that breathing. Okay. May I suggest also that all your records be opened about, about sure. the renovations and the work you've done over the years? Sure, if he so can he find can, them. He can see what's been done. <laughs> so, if we can, yeah. Okay. And in the meantime, we'll have this gone over and see what. Okay, you have to realize have that to when it was given to the Historical Society, it was a whole different regime. Yeah. And where the, so a lot of the records went home with people and never came yeah. back and so on and so forth. But we mm -hmm. can gather what we can. Okay. 
It hasn't been that long, though. It's only, it was 2004 that this... Six, I think? I don't 16, know. 18 years. Yeah. yeah. So it's not... No, it's not decades ago. No. Yeah. Not even two, almost two decades. I think Barry Hill was president at the time of the Historical Society. Yeah, right. And when did he die? Not too long after that? Yeah, a couple of years. Yeah. Okay. So... He you was the moving force behind it all. <laughs> okay. So you don't have a record of what's been done since you acquired it? And, yeah, and we have probably... What records. systems have been updated? Or, right. You know. We have... We can talk to the Since then. then. Okay. I can go through notes, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, one of the most recent was the chimneys that we had to have <coughs> right, repaired. We knew about that. That was kind of an emergency getting that yeah. work done. And, and is that work done? That's yeah. been done, yeah. That's been done, okay. okay. So, Bob, you'll get in touch with these ladies and set up a time when you can go take a look. And so I'll try to get all that information to you and we'll... Do you want to give me your contact information or I can give you mine? Yeah. Or both? <laughs> we'll, we'll exchange papers. Okay. <laughs> Have your people contact my people. Sure. Yeah, just if you could all state your name for the record, for the pub, for you know, for the minutes. Oh, I'm Lois Sweeney, president. Joan, Joan Harrington, secretary. Ann Martin Segrini. Board member. Board member. Board member, yeah. <laughs> So the the quick the original quick claim deed giving it to the historical society was notarized by Kathy Armstrong. I saw that. So. So I guess we would just well, we just signed by Mar Marge Webster, David Sorensen, and Randy Lyman. So. Okay. Oh, oh. Do the best we can. Okay, thank you. Thank you. We'll figure out thank something. You yeah. Yeah. Okay, we're going to be getting our archives out of upstairs and into storage somewhere until we can organize the Grand Hall Museum, which we tend to in Center Ossipi. And we're going to put those upstairs, I think, so it'll take some time to get that yeah, out. That's fine. We're, we're going to hope for the end of the month. That's not too long. I know. Two weeks. Three weeks. Yeah, I know. Time flies. <laughs> okay. Thank, thank you. you thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. HR director is going to need a non-public yep. after the public business. So, would you mind looking at the holiday schedule? Yep, we can do that. That's why I, I just had asked them to take a look at it. Who's our attorney? On this? I don't know, but I think Boston could probably look at it. No. Yeah, but he may know he before he. Leaves Jackson Hewitt, and he may not, he may have someone in Jackson Hewitt be able to take a quick look at it. Yeah. It's not overly complicated. Thank you. 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 I think we probably we have to think about bidding it because they're not approved. Right? Yeah. So we should get them approved and just. Ooh, I think I Holiday schedule. Holiday schedule. This thing. Is it underneath the registry thing? I don't know why I do these things so well. Actually, I don't You want one? No, it's okay. I got it. No, I have it. Unless I get it. Matthew said, oh, I got it. I got it. Okay. So we need to take a look at the holiday schedule for the calendar year 223-2023. How many did they get last year? So what's missing? Their birthday. Did they get their birthday? Birthday is the third. Yeah. Oh. 
So it's the same holiday schedule in addition to the birthday. It's the same number of yeah. holidays. Yeah. Same so number. the last two years, we, the commissioners have chosen to follow the, the court schedule as a guide for the holiday schedule here. And this year we got it really early. I was able to get it this week versus in September and no, October like we did this I, time. What is this now? Are you looking at the same one I'm looking at? No, we're not at? doing it. We don't do Juneteenth. It's a federal. No, it's not. It's, it's not a... Is it a federal holiday? Yes. It's a day off. It's a federal holiday. Not, but the state acknowledges it, but it's not a state holiday. It, well, it is according to the court, so according to one branch of the... According to the judicial branch, this it came from the Supreme year. Court, so... We didn't do it to last year, did we? No, last year what happened is the Juneteenth was adopted after the schedule had already come out. But it wasn't adopted as a day days. off, it was just adopted as a recognized yeah. day. Yeah. So in the RSAs, it's not an official day off. Well, is this a fair person going to its rule? Making authority and RSA 490 colon 4 Supreme Court on the face of following holidays during the calendar year. But we don't have to recognize it, I guess. I, I don't know. I got nothing against it, but it just. How many holidays did we do last year? Thirteen. So it's one last year? No, no, it's the same number because in addition to the holidays, everybody gets their birthday, which brings you back to thirteen. <clears throat> we give everyone the day after Thanksgiving. And we give everybody, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I believe in some of the unions, their holidays may be pretty prescribed by the union contract, so the union contract would supersede this if they weren't a union. Mm -hmm. I just know we didn't do Juneteenth in the union contract with the AFSCME. It wasn't in there. We should really be consistent. Do you remember, I don't know, when I worked, I got New, Year, New Year's Day, Easter, and Christmas. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> I don't get holidays, right? I don't get holidays. Oh, and Fourth of July, sorry. Don't look at me. I worked at the hospital all through law school, and they don't recognize a holiday because <laughs> someone still has to care for the patients. So I've worked every Mother's Day, Father's Day, Memorial Day, Christmas, Easter, Halloween, whatever you do that in. When you're self employed, you don't get holidays. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, but the court's yeah. not open. The you, court? You can't go and file anything on Christmas Day. Why would you? I actually had to care for patients and draw blood because there were still patients there on Christmas Day. Yeah, but lawyers do a lot more than go to court. Yeah. Okay. Except, I know, your, your practice is going to court. Uh, well, I'm going to await a motion on this thing. I'll go with whatever you two decide, because I'm a curmudgeon and I don't believe in all this stuff, so. Well, the problem is this is different from our, our AFSCME contract. Could you check the AFSCME contract? And it is. It's different. This is for next year? It's for yeah. 2023, and the, which... And the contract kicks, you'll kicks in You'll have a new contract April. next April. Yeah. For the jail and the nursing home. So originally, if I could give you some a little background, so originally, there was inconsistency in how the departments closed for the holidays, right? So the Registry of Deeds and the County Attorney's Office follow the court schedule. Everybody else is kind of whatever. So in order to bring us all in the same space, two years ago we started the Finance and Business Office following the court schedule so we'd all be on the same page. Yeah. That's how it started. And so we could properly notice closures of the public spaces of the building. Right, right. Yeah. So everyone would know that. And the unions are somewhat different because, again, the unions are three unions that cannot close. It doesn't matter what the holiday is, they have to staff it. So you're, you are talking about a different 
subsection of people, which was the point of my comment, not just so that I yeah. could get the world's smallest violin from uh, Mr. Kamal. Did they do what are you looking at? I'm just going to look up the RSA. Okay. Do we really think the Supreme Court of New Hampshire would issue an, a non-legal opinion? I don't know what they would do. Yeah, so 494 is the Supreme Court's authority. That's what it said on it. The Supreme Court shall have general su superintendents of all courts and inferior food, so they, you know, they just decide what should be a holiday. But when... The governor recognized it in 2019, and it's a federal holiday. Are the banks closed? Yes, it's yes. a federal holiday. The post office, the banks. What day was that? Juneteenth. Juneteenth. That's a... June 19th. Exactly. It's a day. It's a. I worked for the state of New Hampshire for 20 years, and that was not a holiday for me. Well, no. oh, it's a new. It's, it's new. a new thing. It's a new thing. Holidays. Oh, it it's a new thing. Yes, I'm out of touch. It's a. It's a day to recognize previous injustices in the nation. In Texas. Oh, I see. Well, I'll, I'll wait a motion then. <laughs> Matthew, would you like to make the motion? I'm just still yep. digesting. Um, I'm, I'm, there are ramifications for the union contracts because we didn't do it, so. No, because the unions we have are to different. Go with they have to staff the building right. regardless of what holiday is. So if it's Christmas, yeah, but for they example. Give holiday, and they give holiday pay. And they give holiday pay. So they give holiday pay. So yeah, that's not much we can do about that. Okay. It's, it's adding a holiday that's not in the contract. Okay. The jail has always historically had different holidays than the rest of the county. They do their scheduling different, and it, there's a whole union negotiation. So if they want to bargain for Juneteenth next year, they are free to do that. Do we have to decide this today? I, I just don't have, what are the current holidays in front of, I mean, I don't have that in front of me. Did I give you the two or just the one? Just the one. Here's the, here's the 2022. It's the same number? Or? Same yes, number. 12. So what do we what are we removing to give us Juneteenth? So the way the calendar fell in 2022, I think we uh, it also gave the day before, the day after Christmas, oh the day before Christmas, day before Christmas, yeah. because yeah. of the way the holidays fell on the weekends. And I don't remember quite, but yeah. So now Christmas is on a Monday. So what do we do next year when Christmas is on a Tuesday? Well, we may have 14 holidays. They've, they've always kept it in the last this this 2023 oh. being the third year. They've kept it at 12. Somehow they've kept it at 12 for like four or five years. So, somehow. <laughs> you wouldn't be able to table that for another meeting? Yeah, of course. I mean, we don't have to. Do you want this commissioner plot? You asked for it. Yeah, Just wanted you to have it early. So you have plenty of months to. <laughs> that way you can put some thought. In. I mean, I got nothing against Juneteenth. It's what just we, adding holidays. What are we actually stuff. talking about? We're not adding the holidays. They had 13 holidays last year, 13 holidays this year, and it's the approved schedule, and it's a federal holiday that's adopted by everybody. So what are we talking about? Are you actually going to make a motion that they don't get Juneteenth off? So then what are we talking <laughs> about? Let's just move on. <laughs> Why don't we table this? They have the same number of holidays they had last year. <laughs> I just wish we could call it something. You no. write to the governor. Yep. Okay, so you're making that motion? Go along with the state of New Hampshire. Administrative order 2022-2023.
2023-02, which adopts the holiday schedule for the calendar year of 2023. Oh, yeah, I'll make the motion. <laughs> Seconded. All those in favor Sorry. say aye. 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 Okay, so Thank that's you. Up. Okay. Jeez. Oh, am I too difficult? No. I am. What's next? There are no line item transfers, so I'll go get the HR director if you can talk to two policies. Is that okay? okay. Is, are they not public or public? No, that part's public. Okay. okay, so that's two weeks of that's more than two weeks of holidays. It's what they've always gotten. They've always gotten 13 holidays. I worked here in 2018 and we had 13 holidays. It's always 13 holidays. It's 12 based on the calendar set out by the courts, which they always seem to keep it at 12, and then you get your birthday, which but they also get vacation. Well, they get. They do, but what we've just, the theory we've been operating under is in a year of a pandemic, why would we take things away from our employees? But There's only so much we can give them, why would we start taking the things away? Pandemic's over. Has been, has been our theory. Right. right, but we're still feeling the effects of it when you put gas in your car or you try to heat your house. So we're going to take things away from our employees for what purpose? What would taking them down from 13 holidays to 12 holidays accomplish? Nothing. It would be a hit to morale, so it would have a negative impact. So why would we do something that has only a negative impact? We love our employees. We wouldn't do that. Before. Right, which is why we've adopted the holiday schedule. Oh, my goodness. What is this request for a proposal? What is that for? What was that for Bob Murray? Was it? For the rooftop? Yeah. Okay. Got it. Okay. Good morning, Linda. Hello. Hello. So, which one do you want to do first? Um, the anti-fraud is easiest because it's just... Okay. That was just a an update. Um, the former policy referred to the Carroll County Administrator and director of finance. Okay. Um, the administrative position has been abolished, and we now have, we refer to the in, top individual as chief financial officer. So I've just changed the verbiage under the third bullet under policy to um, state that any fraud that is detected or suspected will, will be reported immediately to the director of human resources and chief financial officer. And those changes have been made throughout the rest of the policy to provide conformity and the correct individual. But all else remains the same. I have to tell you that I had a little episode with my computer last week. I'm on it and all of a sudden these two big boxes come up and it's like warning, warning, your computer has been locked. And it was. And it said you need to call Microsoft right away, right away. Ouch. Because, and then the other box said, this is what has happened in the last 48 hours on the computer and there's like and your credit card has been used, and your phone is no longer working. I was like, oh, are you kidding me? Oh, it was up. Uh, and, and I knew I shouldn't call. Right. But I'm thinking, God, you know, so I called, and of course, it was a foreign voice. And he says, well, you need to do this, this, and this. And I said, no, I don't think so. And he says, well, if you want your computer to work, you need to do this, this, and this. So what did you do? Um, I hung the phone up and unplugged my computer and took it to computer port. <laughs> and they fixed it. <laughs> and he said, there's nothing wrong with it. He says, it's a good thing you didn't do anything because sure. they couldn't, they, they couldn't, they were trying to be able to get in and they were hoping that you would fall for that. Yeah. But it was the first time I saw that great big flashing thing. He said, well, that's really unusual as well. So it's out there everywhere. Yeah, they're getting more aggressive, I believe. Yeah. You know, I, they he used was, to have kind of little things and people have learned that that's kind of hokey, but... Right. And the spoofing, the fact that they can now call from any phone And make number. it look like they're I know. Yeah, next so, door. Yep. It's, yeah, they've really gotten more sophisticated. It'd be nice if they'd use their powers for good. I know. <laughs> I mean, gosh. 
and they prey on the the older population, I think, because they don't know. Sure, folks who may not have. And a, they get scared. Do you use DuckDuckGo as a browser? So, like Chrome and all that, DuckDuckGo is one where it doesn't keep any of your personal information, oh. so you're less likely to get hacked, or so my husband tells me. Point of information. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> DuckDuckGo just had a, made an agreement with Microsoft to share information. <laughs> right. I just found that there out. There goes that. So just so you're aware. So okay, previously I would have said to use DuckDuckGo. <laughs> now you're screwed again. You must use whatever browser now you're used to. <laughs> I, just, I just said, you know, I'm going to go back to using my checkbook to pay my bills. And I'm, I mean, I still write checks and I'm people just, think I'm crazy. I know. But I thought I was the only one. I no. write checks and I send them through the yep. U.S. Postal Service. Yep. And I buy stamps and I mail postcards. Yep. And I, I just, the kids get postcards. We fully utilize the postal system. I don't uh, agree to any paperless billing. As I like to get the mail, yeah. the kids like to get the mail. They enjoy it. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I don't think I enjoy right. that. So do you guys have any? Well, issues usually with they get like highlights yeah. and cool stuff. They don't yeah. get bills. That all comes to me. Yeah. You know, window mail for them. Yeah. <laughs> so mail is still cool for them. They have get postcards and magazines and, and presents. It's, oh, the anti fraud. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's good. Okay. okay. We should not allow fraud. We should have a policy against it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so what I will do then is incorporate all the suggested changes and at the next meeting have a clean copy available for your signature. Okay. That would be great. Great. Perfect. 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 So the next one. I have a, do you want to look at a clean? Oh, I, I should have. Sorry. Okay. Our um, incredibly always at the ready executive coordinator has already done that in anticipation oh, of you your yes, yeah, I think oh, yeah. turned off the tracking changes and it incorporated it right was that thank you oh, uh, I got it I'd like to make a motion to approve the amended anti fraud Seconded that it, this was initially put into effect on 9 13 of 2015 well, and it will be revised as of 6 9 2022 okay. all those in favor say aye Hi. And this is the one we have to sign? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Um, and along those lines, so I've gone through just a question of how you'd like to handle things moving forward. Um, I've been through the entire policy manual and compared that to, and I'm working on comparing it to the handbook, but... So you're sleeping really good then. <laughs> right. Riveting. Um, there are seven or eight policies that just need a title Nine. change, whether it's there, that have county administrator mentioned. We need to determine what individual needs to go into those positions. That's easy peasy. Don't know if you, you folks just want me to bring a blanket proposal that says okay. no changes to this policy, but the county, you know, recommending the county administrator title be changed to whoever, not necessarily me, but whoever. Is the appropriate um, person. Right. It, I mean, will that work for you, yes. or do we really need to go through each policy if I don't change the verbiage? No. I don't okay, know. I want to make you it... don't change the verbiage, I think. Okay, great. I want to make it um, as streamlined as possible. Okay. Question about some other policies I found um, that have a footer that, you know, HR policy, blah, 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 8.2012. There's no signatures on them at all. Can I make an assumption that those are not real policies. Those are something that at some point yeah, in our history an HR yourself. person typed them up and said, yeah, that's a policy. And that that's a bad thing. That if I feel it needs to be a real policy, it needs to come here for signatures. It's more of a guideline than a policy. Okay. Well, then I'll look through some I think might, should be policies. Okay. Okay. So some we'll deal with those. Some about, like, as we, you know, Somebody audit during audit or a discussion yep, with labor, came up. and There's so something was typed up and it was called an HR policy, but it wasn't formally adopted. Okay, perfect. Well, if I feel that there are some that should be true county policies, I'll bring okay. those forward then. Okay. okay. Madam Chair, may I make a suggestion? Yes. Uh, for the ones that reference a admi county administrator, rather than taking that out, um, maybe say, or other individual appointed by the commissioners. Because in the future, there might be a county administrator again. 
Okay, we just but your pleasure. So but then we could change it. Change I think it the back point again. is yeah. the policies right now direct you to someone who doesn't exist. So the policy should direct you to who exists, and we need to go through and make that known. So, so just saying yes. Yeah. So who's it going to be? The chair. I think well, it's it depends on the policy. Situation. I'll have to look yes. at the policy and yeah. see if you know what it refers to. Yeah, like for, for for example, the bereavement policy talks about the fact that if anything's above and beyond um, the the days, and you would like someone can ask for extended unpaid time, that's approved by the county administrator. That should we, probably be approved by you. Right, right. Yeah. That's probably the director of HR. Okay. There may be others that are more of a fi finance nature, and I, I don't remember off the top of my yeah. head, and so maybe it's our CFO, or maybe it's serious enough it should be you folks. I don't know. Okay. But When you bring them in, we can go over all Okay. Yeah. okay. All right. Take your advice. Okay. Okay, uh, okay so... I did get the uh, thing on the bereavement thing for you. Oh, yeah, that's really awkward, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> And case in point, we have policies that say one thing and handbooks that say something yeah. else. So I, I, I haven't talked to the other two commissioners yet, but we will, and I think that, that this is a no-brainer that you should Okay, have. well. So we'll deal with it. Okay, all right, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, Ruby came forward and was like, oh, hmm, those awkward moments. <laughs> I can already guess, but I say pay or whatever we need to do yes. to make it right. Well, and it was a case in point where the reference guy was totally different from the official yeah. policy. But she and I had gone on the policy or the reference guide. So, yep. anyway. All right, so on to the employee referral policy. Okay. Um, Dee and I wrote this together. It has been to Lauren Irwin, our attorney. She has worked her magic, but is this policy as written one that you would like to uh, implement? So it's, you know, it's. Legally, it's it reads fine, um, et cetera, et cetera. But is this a policy that you would like to endorse? Um, we feel that good employees refer good employees, and we'd like to reward that if possible. I, I see that there's a question about where the funding will come from? Oh, yes. I um, I didn't know if that was under my recruitment and retention line item. And I, you know, I mean, if it is mine, that's fine. I just wasn't sure, and I, it should be indicated. Or if that's something else, some other financial, and I didn't get an opportunity to ask Bonnie before she went um, away, or if that's something that... I think it would be... Under recruitment. And okay, retention. perfect. Recruitment and retention. Perfect. That would be my it, guess. It may need require additional funds going in that line for next year. Sure. Or sure. Like a, a line item transfer from some of the agencies that are using it um, okay. because they may have it in their employee line and we okay. could just do a transfer into yours to make it streamlined. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping that the need for more funding comes because that means people are you know raising their hand and bringing forward folks we'll see okay. and when are you looking to, I'm, I'm sure you want this to go in effect like immediately this is what you're looking for. ideally it would be great if we could uh, I'd like to roll it out so where are we June 9th so should you um, approve this. We'll need to come back next week and get a real signed copy. Um, it may be July 1st, which gives me a chance to, you know, run it up the flagpole with folks and kind of, instead of like, oh, here, that's tomorrow. Um, I can do some rah-rah. Okay. Okay. A piece Questions? of art, or does it need change? Um, it looks like there's some some uh, issue about where the funding's going to come from. So. Didn't I just see? We just talked about that. Where's it coming from? We're coming from the HR budget. Yeah. We do have it. Yeah. So we're innocent. Yeah. Could I ask a question? Yeah. Um, 
Can I just offer that maybe we don't need that bullet point in the policy because the funding is really separate from the policy in case that changed in the future, like for next year's budget or anything? Yeah, I don't think we, we normally don't put the funding mechanism in the policy. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think Unless you're on it there. No, I, I don't know. I having you know yeah. being new girl and rummaging through things and not always getting all the information I need. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's like, okay, let's put everything I need to know in there. But no, that's that's fine if you feel that it. Yeah. So let's just straight that. Line okay. Then. All right. So I will know where it comes from for reference, but we don't need to include it in the policy. Okay. The, the only question I would have at this point would be, is there any reason to let department heads see this? before we think get their input because that always goes so well oh good point i'd be happy to trot it out through them okay. sure okay. and then come back with one for yeah. us to sign next week if we're here or if not, we can i won't be oh that's right and maybe talk to them about it in the department when's agreement. the next department okay. meeting beginning of july yeah. Yeah. maybe talk about it with sure. them and okay but I Great. Yeah, know. I'll f I'll funnel it out to him and then say we're going to talk about it at the next meeting in July. So become prepared with your comments and questions. Thank you. Um, yeah, you, I know. Some, good call. Some department heads will really like this. Did you um, want this for your job fair? Um, we don't need it for the job fair theoretically because those folks are coming, coming kind anyway, of off I'm the just streets. That, you know, when's the job fair? The 18th. Saturday, a week from oh, Saturday. I'll be back. I'll be back. Yes. Okay. And I was hoping I'm bringing water, here, but I probably will not. It's my great granddaughter's first birthday. <gasps> oh, yeah, oh awesome! At noon, so cool. It's right in the middle of that. Oh no, so. yeah, family comes first. Did you want wow. me to bring by anything by? Well, I don't know what, what I want was you on your list. We know. all had something except for Commissioner Pledge. <laughs> yes, I'm just wondering. I don't know that we should wait till July to adopt it. Oh, we can do it next week. We can adopt it, adopt this policy quickly. Yep. If we're well, going to get well, input from department heads, we have to have. Are you guys meeting next week? I don't know because we've been on this every other we're schedule. Skipping a week and then meeting yep. on the twenty third. She could do department heads next week and then. Yeah, she can send it out. Actually, she can send it out to department heads. Yeah, absolutely. And then I'd be happy to so say, you have any thoughts? Show on up this, in these people's know. offices yeah. and say, "Okay, you got the email. It's been three days. Talk yeah. to me." Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. That's great. And we can always use Commissioner to you just, Stinger. Uh, yeah. Once you send it out, people will know about it. And sure. Yes. Yeah. Okay. They might say, well, I'm not going to refer anyone until it gets adopted. <laughs> yeah. And certainly the sooner the, you know, the better. Um, I'm here on the 23rd. Let's have it happen. So that's the week after. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I come back it, on, the, on the 17th. Oh, so if we so. skip a week, you'll be here. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Have anything else for us until D comes over, right? No, nothing until D comes okay. over. So D coming over. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is she That's bringing good. lunch? I, I don't know so. if we want to ask her. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's I'll the perfect you thing. That. I think we should take the opportunity to ask her. Yeah. But we should pay her. Yeah. She doesn't have to. Okay, what's next? We're just going um, right along here. The sheriff sent all the documents that he is asking you to review. Unfortunately, he's still that meeting is okay. still probably no, going we don't, on. We don't need him, right? I can go grab him off the copier then. The stuff that he sent. I mean, he always sends us his paper instead of him coming to explain it. He's so. at the chief's meeting. Oh, yeah. Okay, be right back. We did the holiday schedule, right? We did. That's done. Wow. Maybe we will get out of here today. I better have to pack my bags, Madam Chair. Yeah. And I guess Joe is not coming today. <laughs> okay. So, we'll wait for that, and then we just have the uh, non public with D. And checks. I wonder if checks are ready. Should I run down? We should have Melissa bring them up. If we were down, we can get candy while we're down there. I'm not eating candy. You're not? No. Nope. What is? What are you? What's the theme of the granddaughter's birthday party? I don't know. I just know it. I I just saw that it was going to be at my house. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I know. 
I saw it on Facebook. Well, we've decided to have it at our grandparents' house. Like, oh, wonderful. They posted it on Facebook. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> guess you can't refuse now. Our house is always open to everything and everybody. How will the um, gas prices and oil prices affect Ugh. this county this winter? Tremendously, I'm sure. Probably. Yeah, we, 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 we added money to the budget last year. But not as much as we, you know, we had no idea it was going to go that high. Yeah. You know? So I'm sure we'll probably have to ask for money. Now you locked in your propane, though. Yeah, that's all locked in. Yeah. And the propane was what, 149? Or it's a big contract. Too. Yeah. So that, that's a lot of the energy on, yeah. on the county campus. Would have been great if propane. we had considered solar. Just call them. Get some solar vehicles. Yeah. Solar it's vehicles? Time to do electric. No, oh, jeez. Not really. No. Because you're still going to pay for it. Yeah. Where are you going to charge them? Do we have any places in the county that we could charge an electric vehicle? Number one. Oh, Hanford has like 10 uh, of them. Wolfboro has store. a Tesla, so we could go on There's over to Wolfboro PD. I'm in San Miguel, no. Brookfield. No. None of these places. No. But um, the cost of a vehicle is over $10,000 more for the status. Yep. They only go what? 300 miles, 200 miles, 300 miles, depending on if they worked, it would be great. Don't get me wrong, but they're well, getting pretty good. Energy, it's going to go up anyway. I mean, it's going to cost you for it's, that. Exactly. For electricity. It's going to cost you more to yep. plug in. So they yep. get you to buy into it, to plug in X amount, and then the next thing you know, it's more and more and more, no different than gas and water. But I saw gas all the way down was five over five dollars. No. I paid six oh one this morning. For gas or diesel? Diesel. Ooh. There's there's no need of it for mm -hmm. gas. No, there isn't. For gas. Oh, hi. See, Wait, walking, we Melissa. Go. Yeah, that door is usually closed. That's why that's happening. <laughs> People well, are trying to buy firewood. I talked to. Firewood oh yeah, that must be going out. up like crazy too. It's right. gone up and. The guy can't even fill his orders from his old customers. When they were ordering three or four cord. What's he charging for a cord? Three twenty five. That's Green? good. Huh? Green or season? Green? Green? Not season. I think I'm gonna go in the firework business. Yeah, this is gonna take this isn't a quick look at it. This is like a twin page document about the schematics of what are we doing here? So the sheriff uh, he met with you a couple weeks ago, yep. and you asked him to split out the project and dispatch to furniture and equipment, and then the and yes, he did technology. So he's asking well, I'm sure he did. he's asking to approve the RFP to put out to bid the that 13-page document that you have. That this is the RFP. Yeah. I mean, we'll put it in an RFP format. That's not exactly our format. But I just got that this morning. So. Well, we haven't read it yet. Right. right. Good luck with that, Matt. We'll appoint you to read this and get back to us, okay? He I can get back to you next meeting. I know. He wants but to. But he wants to do it? Yeah, this is just RFP. And I have no idea well, what all this stuff is. I'm not going to. I do. I just, I think that, first of all, I think it's in bad taste to give us a 13-page document and not grace us with your presence, but I'll spare that because I say that every week and he doesn't seem to care. Um, but not only that, it's, it, it's broken into the different portions of the project as outlined by the company that was going to do it, which is why you see the 1.1, 2.0. Yep. Yep. Um, but uh, my bigger question is, I don't think we were sold, or maybe it was just wasn't me, on the layout and the location of everything and how many consoles we were actually getting for our money. I think he, did he change this? I don't know. I'd have to look at the one we got. Uh, it doesn't well, I do, the but without the furniture, it's hard for me to tell where people are going to sit. Or this doesn't show the layout. The RFP is only for... Can I read the email that he sent with that? Or... Sure. Um, good morning. Attached is the specs for the RFP for the furnishings portion of the dispatch renovation. 
if you can pass that on to the commissioners. This does not include the wiring or electronics move of any radio equipment, as I would ask them again to consider not going out to bid for that portion, as OME has been performing this service for all of the communications work, including the grant works. This portion was quoted from OME as, I don't know if we should. No. No. Okay, I'm going to stop there. Because <laughs> there's a number. So I'm not going to. I think that we should just um, do this at our next meeting. That way we can read through this and maybe Dominic can be here. She'll probably do it in the public. Yeah, she do this in the public, yeah. I mean, if he's back anytime soon, I don't mind doing it if we're still here, but. Yeah, I think it's Chiefs meeting at Trippie today, I think. Um, is that okay with you? Oh good, I needed a folder. I should have called and we could have brought it off my desk. Okay, what? I needed a file and I'm having someone else bring it. The sheriff could have brought it. So we will, uh, if he's not back, <coughs> we will do this next week or in our next meeting. So we can read it. Take too long to sit here and read 13 pages right now, I think. I know it's. I can't even find where it tells you how many terminals. Yeah, we're not going to discuss that. No, I don't think there is yet. This is just RFP to get to get the costs. Oh, okay. So yeah, that's what this is to send out to try to get bids oh, okay. on the service. And that would, when those come back, that'll be in public. We open them. They're sealed bids, and we open them and read them. Give them back to the department head for them to read and look through, and then come back to us with their recommendations on. Will that be at the next commissioner's meeting? No, this has to go out first. Yes, but I, they won't be back. No, we'll time. be back. I think we give them how, many, how long? 30, 30, 30 days or two weeks or it, something? Yeah, yeah. In, at least two weeks. At least two weeks yeah. before Sometimes they have longer, to have depending on the size today. of the project. From when these are sent out. Okay. Yeah. So the number that you kind of quoted of the 136, Last time, it's not going to be. No, not until we get the actual. Yeah. In respect, I think that's what he had in his, his budget. budget. Mm -hmm. It's budgeted in the capital reserve. Yeah. So. Which was going to be a line transfer, from what I understand from that. Yeah. Let's see. May twenty-six commissioners. Okay. So what do we have next? Then if we're going to postpone this. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Have any other public business? Um, just non-public with HR. With D. Okay. Well, do you want to see if it's eleven? Do you want to see if she can come over? Or sure. If she's ready to do that. did get a call from the girls from the Bluebird Foundation again, um, and they have another property. They did get the other two grants done. Oh, good. Um, but they have another property that they would really like us to look into. So the corrective ones we just need to sign? Okay. Is it in Conway? Yes, it's in Conway on Main Street, another really good location. Um, and I said that when Bonnie got back. We would get a list of exactly what she needed, and you know, we would have no problem with talking to them again. Yeah. So. I think that'd be good. Yeah. Yeah. Talk to them again. Yeah. Because they, they seem to be doing good work. Sarah, for the anyone who doesn't recall, they're a nonprofit 
organization that was getting grants to restore historical buildings to put in workforce housing in Conway, which is at an all-time need up there. So they they needed someone to a government entity to sponsor it, and then uh, they do the renovation and they manage the property. And there's caveats because these are historical buildings that they remain looking historical. Mm -hmm. They're called the Bloomberg Foundation. Mm -hmm. There is no financial. The county ends up being no. a pass through. It's just a pass through. Yeah, it's just a grant, but it can only be. Um, the grant can only go to a, a town or a county or a municipal type thing. So, I, I would like to if we could, but we'll have to wait and see. I think it's a, something good for the county to, to do. And you can also branch out in any other communities. I guess there's no limit to how many, because they have two now. And the interest of the grant is protected because there's a lien on the property and they can't sell it. So it's not like they could refurbish it with the grant, get it, get tenants in there, and then sell it for a profit. Exactly. They, no. they, there's a there's a yeah. lien on it. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Associated with the grant. Okay. Oh, we're waiting for D, right? But are we going to go into non-public? Because we could do these minutes real quick before D gets over here. Do you want lunch? Probably. And Chair, I make a motion that we go into non public under RSA 91A3, Roman numeral 2, subsection. C? And possibly A. C and A. Okay. Seconded. All those in favor, no problem. Commissioner Sorry. Aye. <coughs> Commissioner McCarthy. Aye. Commissioner Flash. Aye. Thank you. And we will probably not have any further open meeting. We have just this, and um, we have a non-public with the hospital with the nursing home administrator. Uh, we need a motion to come out of non-public. It's 141. And seal and the minutes. And seal the minutes. So yes. moved. Seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 Point, point of clarification, did you only have an L or is this a C or which, how many sessions did you wind up having? One. Or Our C. earlier one is under L. We didn't okay. go in under L this we time. We came back in. Under C. To public. Then we C. went back okay. out. And I think we went public. possibly A. We went under A and C and I still feel it fits under A and C. And this, whatever that yes. comes under. Oh, so we did have two. We had one big one and one very short one. But we're about to release the short one, so hold tight. Okay. Madam Chair, I make a motion that we um, approve the non-public minute, session minutes for May 26, 2022 for the one non-public um, session and that we release them to the public effective today's date. Seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 Okay. So Thank now you. we are back and waiting for our sheriff to... Yeah. Lay his case. They have a printout of everything. So. We do. Sure. Right. Okay. I know we spoke last meeting about an RFP, and uh, I know uh, that I didn't want to send it to you before a meeting because obviously it's. I want to give you homework. Yeah, you certainly do. Um, so that's the RFP that was uh, has come up as far as pretty much the standard for this type of furniture for a 24-7 um, type of work atmosphere um, that would be conducive to what we need and so we're not buying it two years later for to replace cheaper furniture. Is this all going to the same, I mean they're all going to different manufacturers or buyers or how is this? Well, that would be the idea. Okay. Um, so I can research, um, well, obviously it would go online, right? The mm -hmm. RFP, if it was accepted. Um, 
And as far as the count, it would be for two linear consoles and three corner consoles. Um, but I can do a... Does it say that, sir? No, I'm not... Okay. I can do a um, face page type of thing uh, to attach to it, okay. along with that diagram that I sent. Okay. So this is the new diagram? That's the measurements. Same? That's the, the blank slate that they uh, work with. Because the diagrams you saw the last meeting, that was um, from a um, possible bidder. So oh, okay. they want to put that picture out there. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Okay. So is this the room as it is now, or how it would be after you make structural after the, changes to the room? You're right. After. after. Yes. Um, and doing this, you may ask your question. Yes, you may. Oh, and doing this will give you enough terminals and capacity in your dispatch to uh, function for the foreseeable future. For how, for how long? Do you see growing after this? Is this because it, in this room you could not grow any further? It would seem. Well, I mean, but there's space. There would be space to put an additional one if it grew that much, yeah. Um, but I see this maybe 10 years out, um, okay. and the only reason it would grow is that the other 24-7 operations shut down, meaning Conway PD or uh, Wolf and Wolfboro, because um, Wolfboro is already going to start the police on it to us mm -hmm. anytime soon. Okay. Um, I don't think that so, either Conway or Wolfboro currently have a plan to shut down. Right, and I would agree with that. So Wolfboro will be moving its public safety building. Yep. Presumably. So. They're having a hearing tonight, a public meeting tonight, to talk about it. Um, but they, they anticipate keeping dispatch. The Wolfboro Dispatch Center is at end of life a few years ago. Yep. They've been... They still work, but they can't. It's no longer serviced by Motorola. Right. So. As ours was yeah. years ago. So the, yeah, the view of the new stuff. <laughs> they don't. They do not. Um, okay. So just, but this will getting this is an investment for ten years in the future. Maybe yes. Years, yes. So. And by that time, she'd have the whole downstairs that so he can have at his <laughs> disposal. We hope. Okay. Um, Nor will we. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes. Um, Madam Chair, maybe. <laughs> no, 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 no. I guess with that said, I know we talked about the wiring and the moving of the consoles and the electronics of this. Um, again, I would recommend and hope that you would support to remove that from the bidding process. That's um, not in here, right? Right. Okay. That would be a worst-case scenario of a quote that the OME gave me of thirty-one thousand two hundred fifty dollars. Mm -hmm. That's a absolute worst-case scenario. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Well, because that doesn't involve new equipment. That just involves moving the current. Right. Yeah. Right. New wiring. Probably. Okay. And, um, I can see that we want the same people. That have always they have always maintained it and yeah. put it in, yeah. And that we have a service contract with every year. Okay. Um, any questions, Commissioner? Really? No. I I haven't read this at all because we just got it today. So, I mean, yeah. Well, I glanced at it to be, and, but in all honesty, I'd have yeah. to have someone tell me exactly like some of these things are. So it's. It's not really an RFP <laughs> yet because it doesn't say how many we want. Right, and I can um, so forward that. Put it into an RFP form. And yeah, but this is just yeah. an itemized list of what you. Okay. Right now, it's kind specification. of specifications. Specifications of what he needs. Okay. It, it's 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 spec sheet. 
it's a spec sheet and it, it poses the question, can you do this? If you can't, what are your exceptions? So it's more of an RFI right now uh, about what somebody, you know, what a vendor could do rather than a firm proposal at a price. But you're going to turn it into an RFP and... Yeah, and your, your meeting is just the numbers of units and... And the price and, right. you know, what they will do for that price. Right. Yeah. Okay. Right, because this should include the delivery, the setup, and the uh, warranty. Yeah. Any other questions, Matthew? So, will we see it again when it's like that, or what? Are you What are you asking for us to approve this today, so you can send it out, or is this just for our? I was information looking for an approval, as we had talked about. Um, it was kind of a deadline to uh, maybe if um, an initial estimate um, f to, I guess, save a price. Right. Um, in any hopes to, to save money. To lock in a price. Yeah. To, save to money. lock in a price. Yep. What's gotcha. the deadline? For shipping. That was the end of the month. And I don't believe you're meeting that Thursday, right? The end of the 30th June. Of yep. June. We're meeting again in June, right? The 23rd, I guess, two weeks. Maybe. But we need to get responses back before the end of June? or That would be the hope. The RFP out before yeah. the end of June? No, the hope would be responses back for the 30th if you were meeting, but that was just my... Well, we can be. We can. We can meet any time you need us. We can meet it to do the RFP. Yeah. The, it's just not in an RFP form yet, so it might be good to see the final form and then approve it as the final form. That's kind of what I was thinking. Are you comfortable otherwise, or? Yeah, I'm comfortable. Okay. I think it's pretty so. Yeah. When will you have it? Have it in RFP form. And your meaning? I mean, I can have that done today, as far as the face letter, as far as. Saying that it needs two linear consoles, three um, corner consoles, delivery warranty, and setup. And setup installation, yep. yeah. Yep. In a face sheet, basically. And attached to it. And can you and these are the specifications for the council? Yes. For each of them. Yeah. I see no problem. I have full confidence in the sheriff that. He would put an RFP out and exactly so you know, does what someone he needs. want to make a motion or it's up to you guys. I wouldn't know what to say in the motion. I'll leave it to Kim. Don't punt to me. I know how to second their motion. <laughs> I do the second thing. <laughs> I, I don't know what to say in the motion. Are we looking to authorize the sheriff to turn this into an RFP and issue it, or do yes. you want to see it before it's issued? I are we comfortable? Do you I want to discuss it? No, I'm comfortable. Well, I, I guess I'm comfortable because what's the worst scenario? We get quotes back we don't like and we just say no to all of them. That's true. Like, you so could say with an attachment as described by the sheriff as far as to include yeah. those items. Right, okay. So uh, the, is it a total of five councils we're looking at? Yes. Uh, so. I'll make a motion we authorize the sheriff to issue an RFP for the acquisition of a total of five councils uh, in accordance with the specifications. She that's the purchase of the installation would include installation warranty delivery and delivery of the councils. Seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 And if you would, just when you get the RFP done, if you would forward that to Matthew, just for him to look at, not that he, so to make him feel better. Gary do it. Certainly. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to not get an extra one just in case? I don't care. Um, Lock in the price now and have it set up at the same time? I, I don't know. Would it make sense? I mean, we had six originally, but we pulled it back to five because to of the money. price, and we were going to use capital funding to do it. Okay. So. 
right now I'm okay with the five, I guess. You could ask for the, op the option yeah. of six. If they're on site installing, it's not. Because it's, it wouldn't be just the desk, it would have to be the yeah. radio console, too, yeah. which is another 50 grand ish. Okay. Yeah, we don't want to do that. Okay, he changed his mind. Great. Yeah. <laughs> right. right. Okay, do you have anything else for us? That's it. That's it? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, do we have anything else on our agenda? So I guess, do we have any further, let me see what, uh, any further, any media questions? Public input? None? Okay. We have already reviewed and signed all the checks. So we're done? Mm -hmm. Oh. Wait for motion to adjourn. Yes. So moved. Seconded. Okay. All those in favor say aye. Aye. One fifty five.